Hello my crazies, my name's Angela and I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady. Right, so today I am finally getting this gra poppy granny square to you. Now, I recorded this video when I was extremely tired because um, I've been trying to get it to you. So, within the video there are a couple of vocal muck-ups. So, in one section I do say um, stitch instead of double crochet. Um, and I have, I believe, said chain one when it should have been, uh, or chain two when it should have been chain one. So please, please, please uh, keep an eye on the written word on screen. For once, my written words are correct and my vocal are not. So I hope you enjoy the video. And I, if you do find any other issues that are not fixed on screen, can you please pop them in the comments so that I can pop them up so that the next person that makes it finds it a little bit easier than you do. Thank you very much. I'll see you all soon. Right, so to make it so that it's a bit clearer for you guys to see, I've had to turn down the brightness um, on this camera so you can make out the differences between the red and the black. I'm hoping um, that by doing this it will make it easier for you to all see when, um, when we get on to doing the black section. So first of all we'll be making the poppy. So you start with your black, then moving into the red. Then we flip the poppy over, pick up the yarns of the black, so don't cut that off, just leave that hanging. We will then pick up that yarn to then build up the square. Once that's done, then we'll make our leaf, we'll add our leaf to the back of our poppy. And then if you want to, um, you can then sew round, do an invisible stitch going round. Um, to sew your poppy to the blanket or you can leave it loose it depends on your personal preference so for this pattern you are going to need a pair of scissors a darning needle don't panic there's not a lot of sewing involved um, your good old faithful four millimeter hook some green yarn now for this I'm using the style car style craft in shade green event oh, there we go in shade green I'm also using the Audi black and the Audi red okay you can choose to use whichever um, wool company you can get access to really right so let's get on with the pattern right so to start with we will be making a slip knot placing that onto your hook. Now chain two. In your second chain from the hook you're going to be placing 11 stitches. On your 11th stitch don't complete it, wait for me to catch up with you. Okay. Okay so let's start with our first. So I'm up at number 10 now. Right, so we are now going to be adding in our red. So what you want to do is make a slip stitch and then pop it on your finger. For, oh, sorry. Pop it on your finger for a moment. Because we'll be uh, using that in a second. So this is how we're going to change colour so it makes it near on invisible. You're going to do your stitch as you would normally do so that you've got your two chains, the two stitches sorry on your hook and you're going to add in the red and 
pull your red through to complete the stitch. And that's it, you've added your red on. Okay, so to close the round, we will be popping a slip stitch into the first stitch, just like that. There we go. Now, into your next stitch, we will be placing a single stitch, a half double, and a double, all into the same stitch. Okay, so there's the single, there's the half double. And there's the double. Okay. Now into our next stitch, we are going to place two double crochets. next one will be three double crochets now into the next stitch you'll be placing a double crochet a half double crochet and a single crochet that's mirroring uh, the other side and then we follow it with a slip stitch into the next stitch it should be looking something like that now into our next stitch we will be going up the stitches again so that is a single a half and a double all into the same stitch and we'll be repeating this bottom section here so it is two double crochets into the next stitch Three into the next, and then into your next one, we'll be going down the stitches again. So that's a double crochet, a half double crochet and a single all into that same stitch. And then we'll be placing a slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay. So now for our next round, we'll be chaining one. And into your first stitch, you'll be going up the stitches again so that is a single stitch, a half double and a double all into the same place. Now into our next stitch we will be placing two double crochets After that will be one double crochet into the next spot. Now that pattern we're going to repeat round until we get to stitch number nine. So the way I like to do it is every odd is two, every even is one. So that's double crochet into the next, which is that third stitch. 
followed by a double crochet on its own. Fourth, two double crochets into the next, double crochet on its own, Single crochet into the next and ending in with two double crochets in the last. Into our next stitch we will be placing a double crochet, a half double crochet and a single. in your slip stitch into the next stitch and that's half of your first leaf done now for the next leaf we will be placing into the next stitch a single a half double and a double Now we are just going to be placing nine double crochets in the next nine stitches. Sometimes you have to be careful on this section because you may miss that first spot. So just give it a gentle wiggle. Right, so into the next stitch, which is number 10, we will be placing a double, half double and a single. This is double, half double and a single. And your very last stitch is coming in here and it is going to be your slip stitch. So at this point I'd like to do an extra slip stitch, pull up my yarn, give myself enough to sew in and because I'm going to be sewing all the way around my project I'm going to leave a decently long tail on it. Okay so pull that up scooch your knot down okay and that is the poppy part complete right so here we go for doing your square section of the poppy what we're going to do is pop your hook through and draw up a loop Okay, now we are going to chain three. Now imagine you have four corners to your poppy and this was corner number one. You're going to place your hook around uh, through the stitch for corner number two. 
pull up a loop, make it slip stitch, then again chain three, turn your work so that you're now going to be working into corner number three. Yuk through, oh, pull up a loop, okay, and the slip stitch again to join, and then chain three again, and then into your final corner, pull up a loop. And then we are just going to then chain three and slip stitch into the first stitch of the chain. There we go. I don't know if you can really see that very well, but um, that then creates a little box. And so you've got the row coming along the bottom, up the top, and then you've got across the top and then down the other side. And we will be working into those chain three areas. Okay, so for the first round of this, we will be chaining two. And then we'll be placing double crochets into our chain three space from the previous round. So on our first chain, we will have the chain two and then two double crochets. Now chain two, move around to your next chain three space and place three double crochets. Give me a minute, I, I'm going to adjust the colouring on this. So then once you've got your three double crochets, chain two, turn your work slightly and pick up your next chain three and again place three crochets, three double crochets, sorry, into that spot. Then chain two. Now we're on to our last chain three spot. We'll place the three double crochets in again. Okay, and then chain two. And then slip stitch into the top of your first chain two space, uh, chain two that you'd made on your first block of three. Now at this point, your stitches will pull slightly towards you. Don't worry, they will um, sort themselves out on the next round. Okay, so for this next round, we are going to slip stitch over to the next corner along. Okay, so now we are going to chain two. We are going to place two double crochets, followed by chain one, and another two double crochets, all into that corner. When you're finished. Now we're going to scoot straight over and place 
three double crochets, chain one and three double crochet into the next chain two spot. And you're going to carry on doing that all the way around until we get back to your first where you're going to do a slip stitch to join your stitches. Okay so we're coming up to the end of the round. Your square will look like this and then all we're going to do is pop a slip stitch into the top of that chain three, uh, sorry the chain two and that close and finishes off your round. Now if you like the look of these clusters here then you can just carry on going um, with each round and doing this cluster granny um, whereas for me I'm going to go for a more solid approach with my granny so as you can see that's what the back of it will look like on your work it's not overly noticeable um, in the, if you're doing a bigger project and if that's only from the back anyway so and then that's how it will look in the end well it will look slightly different if you do this stitch all the way up right so let's get on with the next round okay so now we're back for row two now we will be swapping this from the cluster granny to a more um solid granny Sorry, I'm not too sure if they're the proper terms this evening. Right, so what we will be doing now is we're going to chain up two. We are going to place a double crochet into the same stitch as the same stitch as uh, the chain two spot. Now we're going to chain it into the one next door. And then we'll be placing two double crochet and a chain one and then two more double crochets into that little corner gap there so that will form our corner for the next round now making sure you scoot those over a bit so you can see this very first stitch here we're going to place a double crochet into that stitch there into the next one and into the third one along there now to help us make up and um, uh, the right amount of stitches we are going to be a bit cheeky here we're going to put a double crochet into the gap that was created by um, by the way our stitches were formed on the previous round and then our next double crochet will go into the stitch now we'll go again we'll carry on double crocheting to the end of our stitches and then for our corner we will be placing two double crochet the uh, chain one and then another two double crochet so when you're looking at your work now you'll see you've got quite a nice defined corner here and to find one there and you'll have 11 stitches running along so that'll be two for each corner and then the other nine along the top of your work now all we're going to do is repeat this now on the other three corners and I am um, sorry on the other two edges and then I will meet you when you get back down to this bottom section and your last one comes in and goes around now what I've done here is I've actually used our chain two section here as a count of a, to count as a stitch so we're just going to loop into go into the top half of that and pull up and do a slip stitch and that's the end of your round there we go that's how the backs now looking 
and this is it from the front with all its um, bits and pieces which is why I like to um, tack mine down because it does roll quite a bit okay so for our next row we'll be repeating the same style here but we'll be adding in a couple of stitches as we're going along so your stitch count on this row this next row will be 15 so to achieve that okay so i'm back with you for finishing up this round now we're going to do the same as previous rows if you um give your stitches a quick count i normally do it about here and just to check that you've um got the 15 that you need remember you're counting this chain two as well I've got 14, so my 15th comes in here, and then slip stitch to join them. So that is the end of that row there for you. Right, so now we are on to row 4. Okay, so for this one, we will be doing the chain 2 and pop in a stitch into the same place and now pop in double crochets all the way along and doing again the two double crochets chain one two double crochets into the corner chain here we'll do the same all the way along now your counts along the row should be 19 okay so we're not too worried about this section here for the moment but if you're wondering before the corner you have got if you count the chain one two three four five six seven so that's seven double crochets along and then you hit your corner Alright, so I'm going to leave you to get on with this row and I will meet you back when we have when we reach here. Right, so um, for this last section here, make sure that you count those, um, those chains in the corner and you're looking to place 10 across the top including those. Once you've got that, you should have 19 stitches, including your chain stitch. It goes all the way along the top. And then just slip stitch into the top of your chain two, and you have that row complete as well. Right, so as you can see, we are now on to our last row. So to complete that one, we are going to do the same as we've done previously. But now our stitch count is going. Now our stitch count is going to be 23. So we chain two. Pop that first stitch into the same space as you chain two. And double crochet all the way along remember it's just the same as the previous rows it's just our stitch count has now gone up by four so at our corners we're going to do the two double crochets chain one two double crochets work all the way along this next row and we'll be placing 19 um, double crochets along between each corner section so to take us up to this first corner you'll crochet two, four, six, eight, nine, and then two more into your corner 
totaling 11 double crochets or sorry 10 double crochets and your chain two now if you just work all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to here right so we're back for the very last stitch now for this row this section here including your two corner stitches they will all count and um, add up to 12 once you've got 12 you know that you've got the full amount of 23 that you need for this row there we go boom done dusted <laughs> now we're just going to slip stitch into the last stitch look over now this is as as um, large as i go if you want to go larger go for it um but yeah as i said this is as large as you need for this individual poppy square I will put the measurements in the um, caption box down below so that it tells you where all it, where, um, what size it is because I can't find my tape measure. So once you've decided if this is the right size for you, just do yourself two little stitches, uh, slip stitches and give yourself enough yarn to sew in chop it off, scooch the knot down and then this part of your square is complete right now let's move on to the leaf right so now it's time to make the leaf so pop a slip knot onto your hook chain six There we go. Now into the second chain from your hook, I'm going to place a single crochet. Into the next one, we're going to do a half double crochet. Into the next chain, we're going to do two double crochets. In the next chain it is half double crochet <clears throat> and then in your last chain we are going to do a single crochet followed by a slip stitch and then another single crochet and that has brought us all the way down and all the way around we are now going to be working on the other side of the chain so what we're going to do is we're going to just scoot in and match it up with the stitches on the other side so our next stitch is going to be a half double crochet I'm going to pop it through and just like that <coughs> and then our next stitch is two double crochets into the same place Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing there. There we go. Strike again. Two double crochets. And then a half double crochet into the next stitch. And finishing it up with a single crochet. Now just to finish off the leaf. What I like to do is I like to pop a slip stitch into the very first double crochet on the other side. So just like that. And I hook over, pull it up. And you're going to need to give yourself enough to sew it on with. And we'll just pull up the yarn. Sorry, I've got I've got a knot in there. I'll fix that in a minute. And scoot down and that is your leaf made now another thing you could do is on the return section when you do your next lot of, go, um, of stitches you can actually work over this yarn here so it saves you less sewing in at a later point right so your next step will be just to sew in the end your short end on your leaf and then pop that um, on your poppy square 
and gently tuck that or sew that in and then um, so to run a little stitch you can either pop it in and out of between the two rows here okay which gives you still gives you a flippity floppity petal or you can run it along here instead now what I do is sorry I haven't actually got my um, darning needle I've just dropped it on the floor so I've got to find it um, I just pick up the top stitch and um, stitch through the top section of the stitch and then all the way through the poppy with my red yarn and then back down and just pick up the top one again um, and just and just keep doing it like that until I've gone all the way around and it's the same for the leaf but make sure that you put your leaf on first and then sew your poppy on second right I hope you like this tutorial sorry it's taken me so long to get to you and sorry it's a bit gobbledygooky right I will see you all soon um, for the next tutorial goodbye for now